Good evening. Hello and welcome. You're watching Viewpoint. I'm Anusha Soni. 26 opposition parties, part of the alliance called the INDIA, are gearing for their third meet in Mumbai. Amid fear criticism coming in from the BJP, the alliance formed to defeat the election machine of the BJP hopes that some political structure and form can be given to it. That has been so far the key criticism. So far, the alliance has been criticized by their political opponents, primarily the BJP, for having no agreement on seat sharing, a common agenda, or even a common logo to represent themselves. The meeting in Mumbai shall be crucial to the future and fate of this alliance. Key political players within this opposition alliance have downplayed the question of leadership. Expectedly so, it is the most troublesome question for the alliance to answer. But even if the leadership question is put aside, can the polar opposite political ideologies seemingly united under this alliance really forge real agreements on seat sharing? Will the individual political ambitions trump the opposition unity, quote unquote? Can this alliance really shape a formidable opposition that can offer a real alternative to a billion plus Indians ahead of 2024? All these questions are focused on Viewpoint tonight. पूरे कांग्रेस की आज से नहीं पहले से सबकी मांग भी रही है और मेरी निजी सोच भी है कि राहुल गांधी जी को अब आगे आकर हमारा चेहरा बनना चाहिए प्रधानमंत्री के पद के लिए मुझसे पूछेंगे एज अ स्पोक्स पर्सन तो निश्चित तौर पर मैं भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी का नाम आगे रखूंगी उन्होंने लगातार जनता के मुद्दे उठाए हैं लगातार जनता के बीच में गए हैं एक ऐसा मॉडल दिया है जिसमें सबसे कम महंगाई है पूरे देश में दिल्ली देश की राजधानी होने के बावजूद एक ऐसा मॉडल दिया है जहां पर टैक्स कलेक्शन करके वही टैक्स का पैसा अपने नागरिकों पर खर्चा किया है अरविंद केजरीवाल सरकार ने प्रियंका कक्कड़ सिंह अरविंद केजरीवाल प्रियंका चतुर्वेदी सिंह उद्धव ठाकरे जी सो बी आर सी मेजर मूड पॉइंट इज दिस थर्टी एट पार्टी अलायंस इन द इंडिया can out besides the bjp can the 37 parties any 37 member say mera leader pradhan mantri they can't do it that's a sense of fear it's proven these people have no mission or vision for the country like prime minister modi who is taking the economy from 10 to 5th spot and now to 3rd spot doubled the per capita income quadrupled the middle class income built infrastructure The United Opposition pro uh, Project and the key criticisms around it. Is there really any substance to all the criticisms that have been offered? Can this perplexing question of leadership really be answered by this alliance? All those questions. Joining us, uh, our guest tonight, Shaina N.C., who is the spokesperson of the BJP, Ashpreet Kadyal from the Congress Party, Riju Datta, who is the spokesperson of TMC, and Mr. Krishna Hegre from Shiv Sena. Good evening to all of you. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Shaina ji, uh, through the day, we have heard various statements coming in from the opposition leaders, including Shiv Sena, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sharad Pawar. We have also heard Mr. Uddhav Thakre talking about this. Uh, various political parties have spoken on this issue. And it seems like that the opposition camp thinks that the question of leadership is not the most pertinent or the immediate one that needs to be answered. They believe an issue-based approach can be taken and they can counter the narrative of the BJP. You are overplaying. BJP is overplaying the question of leadership because there are no real alternatives within the BJP or there is no healthy competition within the BJP. That's what Priyanka Chaturvedi said just some time ago. We played that bite as well. Your thoughts on those uh, you know, statements that have come in the public to me. Anusha, firstly, we need to know what the INDIA stands for. Do we want a strong opposition? Every democracy and opposition is required. But do you want an opposition that has tremors before and where the earthquake has happened even before the event has taken place? That's a question that the voter will answer. Hmm. What do voters of India vote for? They vote for stability. They vote for strong leadership. They vote for a vision plan. And most importantly, they vote for political will. Hmm. Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has not just shown that there is here a progressive 
NDA which has worked tirelessly for 10 years has shown on ground be it infrastructure projects, be it Jandhan, Mudra Banking, Ujwala, Fasal Bima Yojana, Ayushman Bharat, Awas Yojana, the, the list is endless and this is all trial and tested. Fortunately, today in the 21st century is the politics of performance. People have gone beyond this jat path dharm ki rajniti. What unifying force are you talking about? They don't even know who their leader is. And when you have so many small splinter parties coming together with no agenda, forget us. I don't even think the voter will accept this. You know, I'm, I'm, you just trying, to I'm, just trying, I'm just trying look to add more layers and more, more meat to this discussion as we take it forward. Chanaji, we've had this debate on, on viewpoint for the last two, three days and the repeated narrative that I've heard from the opposition parties including Ashpreet is also with us on the broadcast is the fact that inflation is an issue, uh, unemployment is an issue according to the opposition parties there are various issues pertaining to development on which the BJP has not delivered and these parties are coming together to highlight those particular issues because BJP does not want to debate on an issue by issue basis that is why they are overplaying this question of leadership. Answer that question head on. I will take this question head on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will not just sweep 2024, but will be here on the agenda of development only. This is an alliance of the corrupt. There is no ideology. They have failed before they've started. And sadly, you have a ship which has sunk because there is nobody to sail them through. Mm. You talk about a soldier. Well, where does a soldier fight? A mm. soldier fights when it has a united army. Here there is no army. There is no vision. And what is your vision for India? I ask and I plea and I say that if you don't have a common minimum agenda, you don't know what you're going to head to the voter with, you have doomed before you started. So please do understand meeting after meeting. You look at Patna, what happened. You look at the current uh, so-called hype for Mumbai. I want to only say that if you are here for performance, then the voter will welcome you. Prime Minister Modi has not just done India proud, he has done Indians proud okay. world over. Okay. Ashpreet, he has done our economy proud. And you Ashpreet, can keep checking. I, 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 I want to take the argument forward that, from, you know, from what uh, we've discussed. China, is, China has made one point in, in the last four minutes uh, that she's spoken. That people depend on their leaders for a lot of things. And dependability in Indian politics today is a huge factor. For dependability, and especially in today's time, with the kind of, uh, you know, vigor with which the BJP has projected Prime Minister as, you know, he's going to be the leader for the next general elections as well, and his track record in the last two, year, uh, two terms, it is evidently clear that the question will boil down to leadership. And I'll tell you why. Issue by issue based discussion is fantastic for a democracy. It must happen. That's not my argument. My argument is that when you go to the voters, other than the economics of it, other than the financials of it, there's a strong emotive appeal under which each voter in this country really casts their ballot. From that point of view, do you really have a face that you can offer to the people of this country? I mean, let alone your alliance partners, would you really have some kind of agreement on it? I don't think the alliance can skirt the question of leadership for far too long is my argument. Ashpreet. Thank you very much. First and foremost, uh, the credit for the Alliance India goes to anyone. It is the Bharti Janata Party and Mr. Modi. Hmm. Their turning of democracy into dictatorship has brought all the opposition parties together and has united the country of 140 crore people together against the Bharti Janata Party. So thank you to them. Number two, the reason as to why everybody has come together on one single platform is to save India, is to save the people of India and is to save India's democracy. Hmm. That's being uh, obliterated by the Bharti Janata Party. Uh, now, the fact of the matter is they have been posing this question again and again, and I've already answered them, hmm. that we happen to be living in a parliamentary form of government, not a presidential form of government. Now, we do realize that the Bharti Janata Party doesn't really understand the constitution well, and that's why they have uh, different uh, perceptions and perspectives about this. But unlike the BJP, we do not impose decisions as to who the prime ministerial face is going to be upon everyone. We decide it collectively uh, with a consensus. And the Bharatiya Janata Party shoves it down the throat of their leaders, of their workers. And dissent is unconstitutional for the Bharatiya Janata Party. And a 
and i like to ask ashpreet that makes a great debate. argument for a tv debate and and i give that to you mm -hmm. but but in reality in substance it boils down to the issue of leadership and how a particular leader can keep the flock together this flock definitely needs a uh, needs a leader that can keep it together so what you have said so far is great for a tv debate but it has not answered it on the substance of it you do need a face to go to the people and right now with the conflicting ambitions of various regional satraps rahul gandhi being touted by the congress party in unofficial ways quote unquote i mean it is a clear competition which is out there and with that competition that takes me to the second point can you really have a seat sharing agreement 100% there will be a seat sharing agreement there will be a common minimum program hmm. everything would be delivered on and before time number 2 as far as your uh, you know the question is concerned who is going to be the pm face Uh, and do you have the leaders let me tell the bharatiya janata party this thing very clearly categorically that we have more than a dozen leaders who are way more capable than mr modi is hmm. have a much better vision to offer to the country have a much better developmental agenda to offer to the country and would definitely not be doing no press conference for nine long years would definitely not be ignoring incidents such as manipur for 77 long days would definitely not be ignoring the incidents in haryana for so many days and not even speak about it wouldn't make sure that there is no debate and discussion happening over the bills that are passed to change a the sharp, country a sharp a sharp pitch for leadership a sharp uh, you know narrative as far as leadership is concerned and a sharp narrative as far as key issues are concerned if any of these is fragmented for any political party i don't think it's going to cut ties with the voters of india who i agree are very smart ones i want to bring in mr riju datta and mr krishna hegre into the discussion riju datta for a party like tmc it is very difficult to accept the leadership of the congress party given your history of how the tmc evolved as a party the role of the congress party in the state of west bengal and even on various issues in the recent past the tmc and the congress party have not been on the same page a leader like bamta banerji who is a mass leader who has been elected with a historic mandate would she be okay to accept the leadership say of nitish kumar or rahul gandhi for that matter I want to be very blunt and straightforward. My leader, Mamata Banerjee, has stated very clearly that our minimum program is that everybody seems to be talking about is BJP hata or desh bacha. Hmm. So for that, Mamata Banerjee has no greed for the chair or the position of the prime minister, and this is what she has said openly in public domain. So there is nothing to hide. Hmm. We are going to give our hundred percent support to the India Alliance, and we will make sure that BJP loses so that India can be saved. No, let me. I have heard my uh, counterpart, the BJP spokesperson, saying some, you know, very strong words. That the basic difference between India and BJP is India is not a bunch of psychophants. We have, like Ashwin said, we have many leaders who are much more capable. Point number one. Point number two. Yes, India votes for a strong leader, but India this time will vote for a leader who is not a liar. You remember those promises? बुलेट ट्रेन चलाएंगे दो करोड़ नौकरी देंगे दो हजार बाईस तक पक्के घर बना देंगे सबको किसान की आय दुग्नी करेंगे सो इंडिया डज नॉट है लीडर विद लायर पॉइंट नंबर वन पॉइंट नंबर टू फॉर रक्षाबंधन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड आई एम रिड्यूसिंग टू हंड्रेड रुपीज फॉर गैस सिलेंडर दिस इज वॉट आर स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑपोजिशन इन दिस कंट्री does to the ruling disposition when india became strong 200 rupees got reduced from the gas cylinder and the benefit has directly gone to the common people mm -hmm. and i'm telling you wait for the mumbai summit probably the petrol prices will also go down because they are rattle mm -hmm. third you say on raksha bandhan that beti bachao beti padhao and what not india has reached the moon why hasn't the prime minister still couldn't find time or the guts to reach manipur and get a rakhi from the women and our sisters of manipur is that not part of india hmm. last but not the least when the prime minister when we have a weak prime minister we become a weak nation and why i'm saying that is because prime minister after all his g20 and brics and what not summit today the people's republic of china has published a map where arunachal pradesh is in china if this is what leadership is i am sorry i do not believe in that leadership it's time for change and like you said amsha the people of this country are very intelligent they know what is happening they are have burning issues of inflation and unemployment and in 6 months india will see a change in the leadership But who is a strong leader and who is not is a emotive perceptive issue also highly individual who believes what 
But if the electoral mandates are anything to go by, I think the answer is before us in the last two general elections. And all eyes on the third one. It's the big thing to watch out for. Keeping in mind, the leadership question is going to be very important. Uh, Mr. Krishna Hegre, coming to you, there was a statement that was made by Uddhav Thakre, Sharad Pawar, Aditya Thakre. There were various leaders uh, who were present in that crucial press conference that happened in Maharashtra today. And they once again reiterated that this is an alliance that has come together on key issues to save democracy. That is what that was asserted today. Do you think the leadership issue can be put on the back burner for some time and other things can be ironed out and then this alliance might be able to present a more realistic uh, option of a real alliance, uh, uh, you know, an opposition alliance against the ruling government or you believe that this present alliance is not capable of finding out its differences? Anusha, this is a Fusky bomb. Fusky bomb, you know what is Fusky bomb? For nine years, it has not blasted in any Diwali. Suddenly, they want to come together and say that we are going to do a big blast this year. Mm. And they say the Prime Minister is scared. That's why he reduced 200 rupees from the cylinder you know, prices. Next time, they'll claim that the Chandrayaan was also taken to the moon because of their pressure. So, this is a very funny alliance, the Kichidi alliance. I wouldn't say take them lightly because in politics, we should not take anyone lightly. Mm. But the TMC spokesperson was saying liar and all these words. You know, what is Modi? Modi is Article 370. Modi is Ram Mandir. Modi is Uniform Civil Code. Modi is, uh, you know, rights for Muslim women. Modi is well, uh, over 150 welfare sc uh, schemes for the poor of India. Hmm. So don't call anyone a liar without just, you know, saying things like this, you know. Hmm. We know what exactly what the TMC has done. The TMC is the offshoot of the Congress only. Hmm. And how they came into power, everything we know. So we don't want to get into this. Hmm. But the important thing is, they were saying that we all want to be Prime Minister, we all want to be Convener. And how many how many MPs are each of these parties? One, five, four, three, nine, fourteen. And how much single-handedly Modi ji has got twice the combined opposition. Hmm. The entire opposition is 150 and Modi ji himself and BJP is 303. So yeah, obviously I mean, he's going to be our unanimous on the numbers, candidate. On the numbers, no, I don't think anybody so, so can contest that. Obviously yeah. he will be a, a unanimous candidate and all the parties want him. Nationally we want him, internationally we want him and he's, you know, delivered the goods. And the, uh, the people of India are looking at it for 2024. It's not what I think or the opposition thinks. The people of India want Narendra Modi ji back as the Prime Minister of India. And that is a fact. Before, and all these things are not... Yeah. Before I go yeah. to, uh, you know, Shaina once again, Ashpreet, the... The Pusky bomb was what was said by Krishna Hegre and he has said that to put it more, uh, you know, simply he has argued that uh, you have not delivered anything in the last nine years. Suddenly you come up before the general elections and you argue, look, we can deliver this as a key opposition alliance with the key issues not being answered. It's nothing but a hoax. Of course, he's right. We haven't delivered inflation like the BGP has. We haven't delivered unemployment like the Bharatiya Janata Party has. Hmm. We haven't emanated poverty upon the country like the Bharatiya Janata Party has. We haven't just made excuses like the BGP does all the time, make false promises all the time. 15 lakh, 2 crore jobs a year, diesel petrol ke rate kam karenge, farmers income double karenge and what not. Nothing has been done by the Bharatiya Janata Party but Anusha. You know, there are two things that India will never ever see. One, dinosaurs and second, Mr. Modi's press conference. Now, as far as accountability is concerned, answerability is concerned, is there any answer with the Bharatiya Janata Party or with Mr. Modi as to why does he not want to take questions of the people? I mean, we, have, we happen to be living in the world's largest but democracy. But you believe, Arshpreet, that can be an electoral issue. I'm not saying it's not an important question. It's an important question. And what would be better for journalists if the Prime Minister holds a press conference? But that's not the point here. Do you think that's an electoral issue? Do you think that's an issue? Do you think that's an issue you can take to the people and garner votes? Or you I'll can garner you. votes if you have a strong leader and a strong face that you can project? I'll tell you what, Anusha. I was coming to the point. I was going to connect it with the real issue. Hmm. Now, this is Mr. Modi who doesn't do even a single press conference in nine long years. But then, this is the face that the Bharati Junta Party and all the alliance partners in the NDA that have to accept no matter what, no matter what their reservations are, no matter who they want to be the PM face, they don't have a choice. They can't do anything. 
they cannot say anything otherwise mr advani you know no, but ashwin uh, i want they, to set a record straight here you know i i agree with the point of differences yeah, debate having sure. yeah i'll i'll just come to shana ji but you know party i'm sure you know the term called party whip i'm sure you know the term called you know united alliance i'm sure you know the term called you know coming on the same page when you run political parties it's not like running a debate contest it's a very different dynamic at play and that dynamic requires everybody to be on the same table it requires some tough decisions to be taken and it also requires leadership or uh, posit it as at a, at a place where everybody can be on the same side it does not require weak leadership and dis- disagreements that's the place it is so i believe that entire argument about look we have disagreements and it's healthy and it's democratic i think it's misplaced i think if the bhartiya janta party would have given us a lecture upon what's required for an alliance to be there they would have said dictatorship they would have said and i i'd like to give an example also you know they have been tom toming about see how many parties are there with us in the nda i'd like to ask the bjp spokesperson how many of them happen to be registered with the election commission of india number 1 hmm. number 2 how many of them happen to have even one mp the gentleman who was asking me a question that you have some parties who have 10 mps some 15 some this some that well in the nda there are so many parties that do not even have a single mp hmm. so the bhartiya janata party needs to have a look in the mirror and then should come and question us should give up their double standards. well uh, i'll take that question to shaina nc but if the congress party had got the numbers that the bjp has right now you wouldn't require an alliance partners yeah. i believe it's as simple shaina but go ahead make your point alliance. yeah go ahead make your point shaina i mean they wouldn't the congress party if they had our numbers they wouldn't require an alliance to start with the fact that they are being reduced to a regional party is something they should soul search and introspect on do understand that 2024 is not just an election about progressive democracy but it is also about a statesman and a leader called prime minister narendra modi ji who has done india proud all this tom toming that oh we were have not done anything you have not done anything because the people have voted you out the bjp has won election after election our vote share has increased even in states where we have not come to power we have still got an increase in the vote share hmm. the fact is that today the bharatiya janata party is the largest political party in the world hmm. with 11 and a half crore of uh, progressive members people who are working tirelessly for this agenda of a united india sabka saath sabka vikas sabka hmm. prayas sabka vishwas now what on the other hand does the inda stand for it stands for nothing but the corrupt it's a comedy of errors you have one pitch for mr rahul gandhi somebody else talking about nitish kumar somebody else uh, in their dreams talking about udhav thakre somebody else saying that no we want mamta banerji please first decide who is your convener no, china it has been it has been said various times by the tmc and the congress of a vision plan that is your own that problem bjp is bjp is second, rattled I'm bjp is rattled and that is something they are repeatedly saying and in fact the lpg prices have been reduced because Why? meeting which is about to happen in mumbai respond to that as well please anusha if lpg prices are reduced this is not a answer to india this is our commitment to the people of india the prime minister what has he done with ujwala that is a commitment to the women of india 370 is a commitment not just to kashmir and jammu but to the people of india and our security hmm. when you talk about uh, you know uh, triple talaq it is a commitment to the women of india and their dignity when you talk about a uniform civil clo- code it is a vision plan you talk about ram mandir it is a consensus which is the belief of crores of indians hmm. all these points are not something that the voter is going to undermine and the voter of india you're right is extremely intelligent so hold your horses the numbers that you see on your screen you talk about 330 we hope to cross 350 and we hope that the people of india will stand with accountability transparency rather than the corrupt that are here only for the lust for power they have united themselves with no vision plan with no able leader and no unifying force so the less Mr. said the better Mr. having Rijudata. said that do we want an opposition in our country yes we do but not at the cost of people who are only corrupt and sitting only for the lust for power hmm. do some good work have a vision for your fellow countrymen hmm. and if not you have doomed already before
before you started. Uh, Mr. Rijudatta, coming, coming to that point, and I, I'm going to just move forward from the question of leadership. Um, let's come to seat sharing, which is the moot issue if you want to fight elections together. TMC, the Aam Aadmi Party, they have a direct political contest with a party like the Congress Party. The Congress Party, try, you know, one of the largest parties in this alliance and trying to play, you know, the elder brother and trying to get everyone together. We have seen Mr. Malikarjun Kharge, Rahul Gandhi attending those meetings. So for a party like TMC in the state of West Bengal, where, where you're relatively strong, would you be willing to cede any kind of space to the Congress Party? Or in states like, say, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, where the Congress Party is relatively stronger and you want to contest seats, would the Congress give you that space? It seems very unlikely because the kind of positions that we have seen on various issues from the TMC, Congress, or even the Aam Aadmi Party, it's completely at loggerheads. I, I can't uh, fathom a situation uh, where you would have some kind of a seat sharing agreement. We saw that spat between the AAP and the Congress party a few days ago that had happened here in the national capital. And I don't believe that TMC is on, on any different footing. Mr. Rijudatta. Uh, let me be very clear on this. There is already a decision. The formal decision will be made and it will come out in the public domain hmm. after the meetings are over and the leaders will announce it. But the informal decision is that every party that is strong in their own bastion, that has already got a track record of defeating or thrashing BJP in elections will be given priority. Mm. Now, this, this seat sharing thing has been made a big issue by the BJP because they are so scared of the fact, but, but scared, scared of India, but I want to say it on record that the seat sharing will be on one hand, it will be BJP, on the other hand, it will be India. And India, I mean, it will be Congress and the regional party together will contest against BJP. So, what will be the exact numbers, that time will say. But let me also give a certain reply to the other spokespersons of BJP. The gentleman from Shiv Shena said, oh, 370, this, that. Yes, but you also said you should remember that you belong from Maharashtra and Shiv Shena. Narendra Modi ji also delivered Ajit Pawar, where who you said was the most corrupt man in the country. Hmm. And uh, uh, Shaina ji was mentioning Ram Mandir, you know, trust and faith of 140 crore Indians. Well, as per the CAG report, BJP stole from the Ayodhya Development Trust. Shinamul is not saying, CAG report is saying. So, you will do Prabhu Ram se chori bhi karenge, aur Prabhu Ram ko fir election mein bhi lavaenge. I... You took the hand of Hanuman ji in Bangalore. The Pradhan Mandir said, I am not saying. I cannot individually verify the facts that you're stating on record. These are serious charges that you're putting. Shaina, would you want to would you want to would you want to come on record? Is there a is there a CAG report? Mr. Krishna Hegre first, then I go to Shaina and see. Yes. See, there is a CAG there is a CAG report on twelve thousand crores corruption hmm. what happened during the Uddhav Thakri regime. Hmm. There is also a four thousand five hundred crore. Uh, corruption charge on the you know uh, handling of the COVID in the Mumbai Municipal Corporation under the leadership of Uddhav Thakre and the MBA government. Hmm. So our government is investigating it. There is obviously, but it is on, it is on them. And you are talking about Ajit Pawar, uh, the TMC honorable spokesperson. Hmm. Tell me one charge sheet which is on Ajit, on Ajit Dada's name. Another thing I want to tell you, they keep saying ED and CBI and all. They had they had a government just one year ago. There were 170 plus MLAs with them. Today they are not even 70. 100 MLAs, over 100 MLAs have crossed, crossed the floor and come over to our side and formed the government with us. Okay. So is it our fault? I, I have last two minutes on the show. Uh, Shaina, a quick response from you and I'll take closing comments from Ashpreet. I just want to say that, you know, what one saw in Bihar, in Patna, what one saw in Bengaluru or what one's going to see in Mumbai is hardly the issue. The issue is who does the voter trust? The voter trusts only Narendra Modi ji and the Bharatiya Janata Party. The numbers that we have seen 2014, 2019 and what we will see in 2024, Anusha, I can say with absolute confidence and utmost humility is going to be a testimony, a mandate for 
for stability, for strong leadership and for a progressive agenda. Hmm. That agenda percolates down to 160 welfare schemes. Labharthis who have benefited in every segment, be it hmm. tribals, women, uh, senior citizens, girl child, the list is endless. Hmm. We are here to work for the people of India. Others are here for theatrics, for their own media management and their own kind of positioning okay. to say that they are a united force. I want to say a united force for what? We are a united force to find, fight the corrupt and to bring India as a superpower, I am, which the Prime Minister I'm will I am giving Ashpreet the closing leadership. comments and Ashpreet, uh, I, I, the people of this country want to know that when that meeting happens in Mumbai and you're shaping an opposition alliance for a billion plus Indi uh, Indians in the world's largest democracy, what can we expect from that meeting? The question of leadership is important. Common issues are important. Who uh, is there a common minimum program? Are there common agendas that can be agreed upon? Will there be a convener of this INDIA who is going to be appointed? Are we going to get answers on any of these key deliverables or the tangibles? Thank you very much. Definitely, uh, I've already made it crystal clear in the second segment that everything would be done on and before time. The Bharatiya Janata Party doesn't have to be rattled with it. But the fact of the matter is, the uh, BGP spokesperson said Congress has been reduced to a regional party. I think she should get her facts yes. straight. Because it's Bharatiya Janata Party that has been ousted from Himachal, that has been ousted from Karnataka, and that is going to be ousted from the Lok Sabha election, the central government in 2024, number two. Uh, she said, the Bharatiya Janata Party has done India proud. Hmm. How? Global hunger index, hmm. freedom of press index, uh, the value of rupee against dollar, uh, that's how you have done India proud. Number three, you see, uh, in, in the Bharatiya Janata Party... Ashpreet, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm interrupting you, but you have to answer the questions I ask you, not just to answer the BJP or your political opponents. People want to know what is this alliance going to deliver when the Mumbai meet happens. So tell us what, what we can expect, tell us what's on the agenda, and what are the things that the alliance partners are hoping for. See, like I said, there would be a common minimum program, there would be seat sharing, there would be a decision of, uh, you know, uh, who are going to be the, uh, the designation holders, what designation uh, the leaders will hold, who's going huh. to be the convener, everything would be decided. However, the Bharatiya Janata Party, you know, did say one thing that, you know, we do not have any confusion about who's going to be the PM face. We don't hmm. have confusion either. Hmm. However, we want everybody to take a collective decision. We do not want to shove it down the throat of the people and in the BJP and in the NDA. Nobody can say they want to be the PM face or that individual can be the PM face because they do not want to be another. But Ashpreet, that's a question of numbers. You know, I think that's a question of numbers. If the Congress party had the largest numbers, then of course, even if you were to form an alliance, the prime minister face would be from the Congress party. I think it, 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 it all boils down to the numbers. It's not a philosophical question. No, the, the point of, yeah. haven't you been in alliance? Hasn't the Congress party run two, run two successive governments? If the BJP is so sure, if the BJP is this sure, why do they have an alliance in the first place? Well, why do they Alliance can be. I, come on, Ashpreet, you are a political you party have to get spokesperson. All sections of society. Yes, Mr. Agri, go ahead and make your point. I don't want to answer that question on no. behalf of any political See, the party. See, the BJP could have done it on its own. The BJP wants has taken all its old allies together. We are with the BJP for the last 25 Absolutely. years in the alliance, and the BJP wants to take all sections of society together. And no, that's why they that are and, and, and I, I do feel, and, and I do feel and the question of leadership, the, the question of tangibles to, have been convoluted. Then why not to give them the chance? Give no. them the chance to be the PM. No, give them representation. So Ashpreet, you are saying that? if you are three hundred plus seats, one second, one second. Ashpreet, Ashpreet, you are talking Ashpreet. One, one second, Mr. Mr. Agri, one second, Mr. Mr. Agri, one second, Mr. Agri, one second. Objective of alliance. They say the objective of alliance is to give representation. Then why? Then why do you not have any Muslims in the cabinet? Don't shift. What don't shift the paradigm, sir. Don't shift paradigm, sir. Mr. Agri, one second. Mr. Agri, one second. Mr. Agri, one second. Ashpreet, if the Congress party had say more than two fifty plus seats in Lok Sabha, <laughs> would you be willing to give the chair of the Prime Minister to any other political party? A yes or no it's question not, and a simple num question. Number one, no, it's not about yes or no. It it's is a yes or no question. One second, <laughs> the gentleman said when I asked him then, if you are, if you think you're so good and you have the numbers, why do you have to have an alliance? The gentleman said to give representation. Now, if you really want to give representation, why can't somebody else be the face of the party? Number two, 
Why do you not have any Muslims in the cabinet? So you P A. No, one second, one second. Ashwit, one, my, my, my last attempt, my last attempt to get an answer. Power, you're not coming to power, so it's just going to be a. All right, Mr. Mr. Riju, one second, one second, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Mr. Riju, that has a point to make. Let him make his point. Mr. Riju, that. With with all due respect to our alliance partner, Congress, and the spokesperson, Ashwit. Uh, you know, every cadre, every member of every political party will want their leader to get the prime ministerial post. It is very normal. China ji will want Modi ji. I will want as a, you know emotionally as a party cadre. I will want Mamta ji. Krishna ji just will want the uh, Devendra Fadnavis or Ekinath Shinde or Ajit Pawar. And so it is quite we normal. Also give also to 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 that want Rahul Gandhi. But in the <laughs> India faction. Because we are not a bunch of psychophants, we will decide the... Psychophants, see, who is a psychophant and who is not, in all honesty, is a question where, uh, you know, it's a it's an individual issue, how you perceive it. There is no data through which uh, you can really establish that. But I do believe, as an observer, that you will have to counter the question of leadership. It is the most dominant question for this alliance. I thank you all for joining us on the broadcast.